Your Spectrum TV remote control has a variety of features that allow you to control your TV and DVR as well as navigate the guide. This video walks you through these easy to use features. If you haven't yet programmed your remote, go to spectrum.net slash remotes to learn how. So here's a look at what all these buttons can do. Starting at the top left, there are two buttons. System on off sends power on off commands to the components listed directly below. Moving left to right, there's auxiliary, DVD, VCR, TV, or cable. And on the right, power turns on or off any of the components individually. Just press one of the component buttons below to select and control that device. Continuing down the remote, there are two sets of buttons forming a circle, one inside the other. The outer ring has all your main navigation controls. Proceeding clockwise, from left of center, press Guide for all your program listings and Menu, which is used to access the main menu. Press Info for more information about a program you've selected. And use Exit to leave Menus, the Guide, and other on-screen applications. The Page button has a plus sign at the top and a minus sign at the bottom. This allows you to scroll through menu screens and the guide. Following that are the letter buttons D, C, B, and A. These let you make direct selections from on-screen menus. And Settings takes you to the Settings menu. The inner circle has four arrows, or cursor buttons, which surround the OK Select button in the center. The arrows allow you to move through the program guide and menu screens as well as navigate within interactive services such as On Demand. Use OK Select to make your selection from the guide, the menu, or from other options available to you. The next row has your volume controls on the left, and the smaller mute button is directly to the right. Below that, and slightly to the right, is the Favorites button. This button displays your favorite channels once you've set them up. Continuing to move to the right, the last button lets you recall the last channel viewed. And farthest right in this row, the channel button allows you to move up or down through your channel lineup. Continuing down the remote, the next row has the day buttons with on demand in the middle. The left day button lets you skip back one day in the program guide. The right day button lets you skip ahead one day. On Demand allows you to access Video On Demand services. The buttons in the next row below varies depending on your location. Moving down to the next row, the backwards facing arrow is used when you have a DVR. The arrow lets you replay the previous few seconds of your program. Next, use List to access your recorded programs and Live to see what's on live TV. Below that are your playback keys. You can rewind, play, fast forward, stop, pause, and record when in VCR and DVD mode. These are also used for video on demand when in cable mode and your DVR box if you have DVR service. The number pad at the bottom of the remote lets you enter a specific channel number without having to browse the guide or cycle through the channels. They can also be used to make numeric entries when called for in on-screen menus. The Aspect button to the right of the zero allows you to alter the picture size on your TV. This is also known as Video Aspect Ratio, which is typically 4x3 or 16x9. The Picture and Picture buttons are not supported in the guide. Finally, use Video Source to select the video source from your available video components. And last but not least, press light to backlight all keypad buttons. That's it. It won't take long to become familiar with this handy device. For other helpful support videos, please visit spectrum.net slash videos.